PC Nation, what is up? We're back with another video on Netflix is the Sandman, and say I'm checking out season one, episode five, titled 24/7. This is about to be one messed up episode, I think. Because if they go by the comic, in issue number six of Neil Gaiman's The Sandman, we see Sean D. Dr. Destiny go to a cafe and just mess with some people's minds. Like, it is so horrific. And going off the last episode where we saw Dream go to hell and how it was very in touch with the source material, like, it was almost like straight out of the comic like there's some changes which the changes they did were really good like having instead of dream go against this demon the demon still showed up but instead of dream fighting the demon he fought off against lucifer who stepped in for the demon that little change made that whole sequence so awesome just dream and lucifer morningstar trying to one-up each other i am the universe i am anti-life i am hope like it was so dope but for this episode I'm just excited to see what Sean D will do and to eventually see Dream versus Dr. Destiny. Now, before we get into the episode, I need to clarify something real quickly. This video is on YouTube, so you guys want to get like two or three minutes of reaction and review at the end. But if you want to see my full episode reaction, click the link down below in the description or the pinned comments, and it'll send you to my website, dcenthusiast.com, and there you can watch my my full episode reaction. But yeah, guys, without the way, let's get to the latest episode of The Sandman. He's made to the cafe, and the music. It's just, oh man, it's just foreboding. Like, I know what's going to happen. This guy's about to die. Is John going to help at all? Like, John's just what? Dude, does nobody, like, see John? Oh, snap. He just killed him, and she's just, oh my gosh. Gary is dead. What did you do? He attacked me. You saw. You all saw. He tried to choke me. Somebody call an ambulance. Mm. Gary is dead. This is not who I am. Yeah, this is not. John's just eating ice cream. Yeah, I think Betty. Yeah, okay. Betty's caught on. This guy. John. John just keeps watching television. Yeah. He is changing things for sure. All I did was take away the line. Okay, just close your eyes. Okay, okay, maybe she's just gonna close- Oh no, she's gonna pull out her eyes. She's going to cut out her eyes. Don't do it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Dude, that- Oh, jeez. I, I could not watch that. Dream, where are you? Dream's coming. Dream's coming. Who is this woman? What? Johnny. Oh, oh, that's his mother. That is messed up. That's his mom, man. Oh. Oh. He see. Oh, wow! Holy crap! Dream is putting him through a nightmare. Oh, I remember this now. So in the comic, yeah, he destroyed it, but now all that power goes to Dream. So he's all powerful again. Yeah, John, just wait. You about to look behind you and see a giant Dream. 
No, you didn't. You did not do it. You did not kill him. I won. Oh, come on. I want to see it. Let's go. Yeah. That's what I was waiting for. Just a big hand, and then you're going to see Dream's face. This is awesome. Whoa. But I killed you. You destroyed the ruby and released the power inside it. I'm yeah. Of that. Mm. I forgot just how much of myself I had placed in the jewel. Wait. Oh, Lucifer. Wait, what? 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 Big brother. Hold up, what? Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Big brother. That makes it sound like it's death. But the thing is about death. Like, that That was Lucifer, though. I'm a little... Ah, uh, okay. We're getting somewhere very interesting. Like, guys, okay. I'm ready. This is the review part of the video. Because I want to talk about this episode. This was a wild episode. It was well directed. The acting was on point. It was dark, sadistic, disturbing. Like, just how we saw the characters in the cafe and how... John D just exposed their lies, what they really wanted, and how they killed each other. It was so messed up, so eerie. I was invested though. Like, it was a couple of times I had to look away because just how horrifying and messed up it was. But then when Dream showed up in the climax of Dream and John fighting, and John breaking the ruby, and now Dream has all of his power back, and Dream putting John to sleep, and then Dream be like, okay, humanity can sleep well for a night. But then we saw Luke. Lucifer just there like oh big brother and I'm like what like okay if it's death that makes sense death being like oh big brother like they're all the endless right but why is Lucifer there maybe I'm forgetting something from the comic but I'm pretty sure Lucifer and dream are not connected like they aren't or maybe, may, I don't know, man. Like, we'll see. This show changed a few things. Most of it is, like, straight from the source material, done very well. And the few things they change are great. It's like, the changes they made so far with Lucifer or Corinthian, it's so good. Like, I was actually expecting a Corinthian at the end. But to see Lucifer, it threw me off a little bit. Because Corinthian is the main villain, I'm suspecting. And then Lucifer is involved, but I didn't think Lucifer would come back. I thought it, she, he, it, whatever. Like, the devil would only be in the Hope in Hell episode, episode 4. But Lucifer may have a more prominent role. Oh, man, like, this is getting very exciting. Like, it's such a good show. And... Uh, yeah, like, I kind of know what happens next, but they're changing a few things to keep me on my toes, to keep me, like, just engaged, and that's how you write a show. This is one of the best shows I've seen in a while. Like, this is, man, show of the year. Like, it's so good. I I'm excited for the next episode. I'm wondering what's going to happen next. And I'm happy that we'll see more Dream next episode, because this episode is all about John D. Like, it was. But next episode, we're going into Volume 2, A Dollhouse. Well, actually, no. Next episode, we're going to see Death. Because we still have issue number 8 with Death. I think it's called The Sound of Her Wings, which is a great issue where Death shows up. And she's like, Dream, what the heck? You could have called on me or any of the other Endless to help you out, but you didn't. Like, she just gets on him, and we see Death just show Dream around the world and how people die. It's a very deep issue. I'm excited to see how the show will interpret it. And then after that, we get into a dollhouse, which that'll be... Um, that'll be interesting. Like, this show, it, it had a lot of potential, and so far, they are delivering. Actually, I'll say exceeding expectations. I'm going to give this episode a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. I still like the previous episode more because just seeing hell, it's so fascinating. But this episode, my second favorite for sure. It's a, it's a masterpiece. It's like so well done. I, at this point, I'm just expecting amazing episodes. And I think this show will actually deliver. Like, 
I can't say that about a lot of shows. But yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts on this episode down below. If you like the video, give a big thumbs, sub new channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next The Sandman reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.